Preston leads the fields in the corners three and four. There's the green flag, the stock car in aimed is underway. Billy Preston and the number 10 of Cody Nelson. Want to lead lap number one of this 20 lap battle as they all come out of the corner. And here comes the fugue. But Cody Nelson grabs the lead. There's a yellow flag. The number four of Strifle. Talent out here at the playground. Green flag. Cody Nelson's going to try the high lane. Scott Yale and Michael Venice want to go with him. Jeffrey trying to guard in the middle, and here comes Fugman down on the inside. And Joe Floor down even more on the inside. 40 in the 20. This is about the time of the race that I say keep an eye on the 17 machine and watch him do his magic up in the cushion. Austin Doe. He has found the high groove. And now it's showtime for the 17 machine. He comes up upon Dalton Flory who's battling Nathan Burke. Runs out of racing room for now. Meanwhile, back out front. Nelson, still your leader with Yale in second, Cube in third. Tyler Jeffrey trying to hang on to fourth, and Michael Vaness trying to work that low groove in the 22B. They're four wide for fifth place as they come out of quarter four. Nelson a 65.5 mile an hour average lap that time around. Certainly not pulling away though as Yale and Fugman are right there to greet him. Out of corner four down the front straightaway. Contact between Jeffrey and Venice. Venice trying to squeeze inside the floor. He's, he's in the middle of a floor. And now Joe tries to stick the nose cone down on the inside of Dalton. We've got a yellow flag situation. We've got debris in corner four. Edex, thanks for joining us here in Minot, North Dakota. Green flag flies. Norman Joran Boyce winning the points title out in Williston and doing well in this one as well. Started in the last row trying to work his way to the front. Dalton Flory has a 58 point lead in this class. Okay. As soon as I say that Dalton Flory has a 58 point lead in the class, he hammers a tire. He's out of the picture in this one. Cody Nelson leads him into the corner. And we're racing again. Boy, that exit out of corner four got intense. And now the field goes into three and four again. Cody Nelson trying to hang on to the lead. Bob Fugman running in second. Scott Yale is third. Mikey Bennett in fourth. And now Bose and Shaw out of Botno drives up to a top five. Nathan Burke no longer a real regular here at the Nodak Speedway with a pretty busy summer. Trying to work his way up front to the 97. He's won more championships at the Nodak Speedway than any other driver in the history of Nodak. 
Nathan Burke in that number 97 car. And Cody Nelson still looking pretty darn good out of Ken there. He cuts it down to 12 laps to go. And the yellow comes out. You won't even believe who it's on. <laughs> the 04 of Cody Dignan. And that yellow flag charged to Joel Flory. That's his second one. So the world of outlaws attack the Nodak Speedway. Green flag. Michael Venice has decided to try to run the bottom and then he slides up into Fuchman and bumps him off the track. And Fuchman thinks that he deserved or didn't deserve that. And he's going to come to a stop and the yellow's going to come out. And now it's up to the official. Is it Fuchman or Venice? Well, let's see what happens. There's still 13 laps left on the board. There's the green flag. Storm and Jorn Boy slowly working his way up. It's survival for a while in this thing. And Boyce has been doing just that. He's got himself up to eighth after starting in the back row and looking for more. Here comes the leader. It's still Cody Nelson. There's more contact. The 72 and Nathan Burke get together. And that was enough to create another yellow. And Kyler Jeffrey is going to get the call. The 0-4 of Dignan needs to get up, get a few more spots before this is all said and done. Trying to gain some points on Dalton Flory. The green flag for Scott Yale. Ellison in the back end of Dignan a little bit. Now he'll spread out high and follow Dirk Miller into corner four. And then Dirk Miller comes down right in front of him. Miller just right down, cuts off the 421 of Ellis. Yellow flag comes out. Clock keeps running. Here they come out of the corner. Green flag. Man, these guys are driving like there's no tomorrow and there's $10,000 to win. And out of the corner this time, it's Scott Yale. Cody Nelson in second, Bennett third, Scott fourth, Norman Doran Boyd, now up to fifth. The field finally now beginning to spread out. And Scott Eel beginning to take charge. He had a 65.7 mile an hour lap last time around. The average speed for Yale. Jordan Boyce has run to the front. Has now slowed as he can't get past the fourth place car of Deshaw. And Storman follows him into corner three and he'll take another look down on the inside but Deshaw has that protected nicely. At the same time Scott Yale completes another one. Eight laps to go on the concrete mobile scoreboard. And a six car length lead for Scott Yale over Cody Nelson.
Then at this third, the soft fourth, Jordan Boyd is still fifth. Chris Ellis running sixth now in the 421. Rob Stenbold still at seventh in the 12 car, followed by Fugman and Dignan. And the Shaw now trying to make a move on Venice. He's dumped down low, but he can't make it hold. Venice drives around him in the back. Storman Joran Boyce graduated from the rail and now is the cushion king in the 67. Up until the last couple years, you never saw Joran Boyce run up high. But he's been doing it a lot this year, and he's getting it done up there. Trying to get around to Shaw and Bennett. Ellis sneaks through on the inside. Takes that spot away. There's four laps to go. Bupin tries to get around Venice. Has to check up. And now they battle it down into corner one. Look at Bupin and Boyce and Venice. Nobody's lifted. No one's given an inch as those cars just going into corner three. As Yale comes past the flag stand to receive the raised flag. Oh, look at that battle continue. There's some serious over 65 mile an hour laps being turned by the middle of the field. Scott Yale, white flag, Nelson second to Shaw, Ellis Boyd, your top five. Gowdy pulls off. Last time for Scott Yale. Down into corner four. Past the grandstand. Scott Yale will win it. Cody Nelson, Bonashaw, Chris Ellis, Joran Boyd, Bob Bupin, Rob Stemble, Mikey Venice, Cody Dignan, Rifle. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner out of Minot, North Dakota, on the number two machine, it's Scott Yale. He'll come on down front and have a word.